What's good? What's going on, everybody? You already know who this is, and it's definitely your favorite soul for child. Uh, yeah, yeah. Shark, come back to us again at the PEG Podcast, Positive Energy Generation, man. We're not only here to uplift you, but we uplift ourselves, too. And you already know I'm always coming with public figures, artists, and people that's out here doing what you're doing or doing what you're thinking about doing. I am leading the way. And I already know I had to bring some heat for y'all. So I brought my man coming out of Memphis, White Sosa in the building. How you feeling, bro? What's going on? I'm feeling good. Hey, man, it's a beautiful cold day. And uh, man, if y'all have not tapped into White Sosa, I'm not going to release this social media yet. Y'all got to stay to the end of the podcast. So, hey. I'm sorry, my man is that fire, all right? You gotta stay tapped in. If you not have already heard of Testimony, go listen to it. It's playing on all platforms, our Heart Radio, Spotify, Google Play, and more, all right? You tap in with PG, you already tapped in with my man, White Sosa, all right? So we're gonna dive in a little, in a little deeper with them, get to know them a little better. So White Sosa, I'm gonna give you opportunity. You know what I'm saying? You hot out there in Memphis, you tearing up the flow, man. Let everybody know who is White Sosa and why, why are you in the music industry, man? Uh, White Sosa is me, S-O-S-A, someone on something amazing. And man, I'm just, I do music because I love it. I just, I love fans, I love the interaction. Like, it ain't even about the money to me. It's like, I love, I just love the love I get from my music, yeah. from my creation. I love that. And I love giving back to my fans. It's the best feeling ever. Hey, it's how long you been doing music. You know, you're jumping out there. You definitely starting to wave. You definitely got a platform for yourself. So uh, where did this journey actually start? I uh, started back in 2016. I was at a football game, a high school football game, and somebody that went to my school came up to me and was like, hey, yo, Instagram name, White Sosa. He said, you sound like you could be a rapper. Come to my studio and come try it out. I went and tried it out. He put on a dubstep beat. I don't know what, what I did he had from that. But uh, he put on that beat. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I was terrible my first year, two years in the rap game, but I grew and just got better at that. And so were you scared when you jumped out there, you know, being, being at your first time and somebody just let you know, hey, your name could be popping in the music industry. So was it a scary moment for you to just jump out there? It wasn't just scary. I was more excited, more nervous and exciting way than I was in a negative way. Mm, more excitement. Is it more to see that what you could do or are you just ready to show what you can do? I'm ready just to show. Both, really both. Both, yeah. That's what's up. All right, man. You said back in 2016, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So starting that journey, you jumped out there, took a leap of faith. You said, "I'm gonna show everybody what I can do." Um, was there anything far as like doubt, fear that was stopping you that you had problems to overcome at any point of time? Uh, your internet just it's the beginning. Can you hear me now? A little bit. All right. What about now? Sure. All right, cool. Yeah. So um, I'm sorry about that. So when you jumped in 2016 and you started believing in yourself, you started going toward what you want to do. Was there any point of time where you had some doubt issues or you felt like you couldn't do it or you felt like you wasn't good enough like everyone else? There, was there any point of time you felt like that? When I first started receiving, I mean, I, I've been hated on like by different people throughout my whole life. But when I started first started receiving like the heavy hatred, I was questioning about I'm like, dang, like, do people really like like they, do they not like me? But but then I, I realized who I am. I said, man, I'm, I said, you gotta have hate to have more talk about you. So the more they talk about you, the more know you get. Right. But really, regardless of the hate, they was getting they was getting me paid and I was getting more fans from that. Just for hate. I, I mean, I'm glad that you said that because um I don't know, what is they called, Island Boys? I really don't know what their name is, but if you notice, it kind of did like that too. People hated on me a lot and then they made them famous. Yeah. Right. So, you know, that's not like something that that people can really ride on if they really out there, you know, no matter if you're you were doing artists, whether you're trying to do music, whether you're trying to paint, cook, it doesn't matter. You're going to have haters, especially when you're yeah. trying to do the best, you know. Um, what is a role? Give me three role models that, you know, that you looked up to in the music industry that has paved the way for you. 
It has to be in the music industry. It don't have to be just the music industry. Well, three role models I say is my mom for sure. Just because she showed me what it's like to be an independent woman. Like, you know, she, her and my dad, they split apart when I was three years old. Oh. Well, they got back together when I was five, but they split apart again. But so she, you know, she really showed me what it's like to be independent and how hard you have to work for yourself. So my mom is a huge influence on why I go so hard for myself being an independent artist. Hmm. Shout out to mama. Let's go, mama. <clears throat> Let's go. Yeah. Hey, what's my, your uh, my other two, um, my biggest role model, of course, is God. Oh, yeah. God always. God made, God made this happen. Facts. He, he, he made me survive when I was in, in a little coma or whatever. He was in a coma, you say? I was, yeah, I had a, I was in a coma. I got, right now to this day, I got a brain injury. I had left side paralyzation for like a couple, few weeks at one point when I had that coma. I, I got hit by a car. That's the reason I had to come. So, you know, God is the reason why I'm here. So God is the biggest role model for sure. I mean, it's, it's not always easy coming back from an injury. I actually watched the, the documentary of Kanye last night. And I didn't know that he had an injury on his mouth. You know, he was the same thing. He was in a car accident uh, right after he saw with um, uh, crazy Jay-Z. He had a car accident and he messed up his mouth. So he was rapping with his mouth wired shut, you know. So a lot of people didn't know that. So to hear you say that you went through a car accident and, you know, you still here today, that's, that shows people that you can be determined in your passion. You know, you have a reason to be here. Like you said, God is the reason why you're here. So the fact that you're here, you out here pushing your dreams, pushing your passion, it's letting others know that they can, that they can do it too. I uh, see. You know, that's the thing. Like I, re I relate to Kanye a lot because my mouth wasn't wired shot, shut, but I, I had to rap with a speech. I still got the speech issue. You really can't hear it now, but. Like when I first started back rapping back, when because the incident happened in February 2021, and I started back rapping in April, so I had a real or March, I mean, I had a real bad speech issue for like months, and so I I was dealing with that for the longest. Wow, and you can't even tell, man. That's the crazy part. You cannot even tell unless you tell that story, you know, unless you say something. You can't yeah. tell just by you speaking. You still can tell. You know, I'm pretty sure that wasn't easy on your mental to like come back to music and show people that, you know, I'm not counted out. I'm still in this. Uh, no, it, it, it would be times I get depressed, but then I realize how far I came from that little shit. And I'll be like, man, I done came so far. You know, fuck, I can't cuss, but if that little shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you want to, bro, this open opportunity, open space. No one's going to judge you, though. But, uh, oh, I, okay, okay, cool. Nah. You know, since it's a radio, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I can't cuss. Nah, it's definitely cool, man. Um, I, I want you to be just yourself. Be, be white social. Be yourself, man. And I yeah. like that you you found relating to Kanye, you know. I didn't know you related to him that much. Just, just me here, um, watching his video yesterday and then listening to your story, it's like, no matter what you go through in life, you got to keep going. You know, you're going to have haters. You're going to have downfalls. But if God puts you on this earth and let you see another day, you got to do it. Yeah. That's just how yeah. I feel. You got to go do it because that's the only way. That's the only difference between me and you. God gave you your vision and he gave me mine. Although yeah. we meet up on the same path, we're still on two different roads, but we, we meet up with each other. So yeah. lesson, man, to be here with you. I did not know that happened to you. Come, and it's so early, 2021. It's just 2022. And yeah. you're bouncing back in full throttle. So I hope you continue to have a speedy recover. I pray that you not only continue to elevate, man, but you get everything that God has blessed you here for, you know, because you deserve it, bro. You do. Yeah. Um, let's actually dive into the song that you picked for featuring on uh, testimony, man. Now, now I understand it a little more. You, you said what? I can hear you. I can hear you. you do you hear me now? Your uh, connection messing up. All right, hold on. All right, is it back in? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so uh, as we hear about your story, you tell us, you tell us more. You let us know how how difficult it was, especially going through that moment. I know that's never hard bouncing back from an injury, 
Um, let's talk about the song Testimony, because that that right there is a testimony that you got to walk in, man, that you that you don't really have to share. But when you share that story, it helps people relate to you a little more. See all your downfalls, see how you grind through the issues and went through the darkness. So when you decided to make the song Testimony, man, um, what was the main reason that you made that song? Well, see, that song is uh, is on my album. I just released called Brain Injury, and it's about the whole album. It's like the storyline of what I came from. It's a story to motivate everybody that listens to it. And it's like it's the test. So the testimony song by itself. It's real. That, that's the song where I, where like my voice really started bouncing back. So it's like that song's really just about coming back. In full throttle, you know, I'm like I'm back now. Like y'all gonna feel me now, that type of thing. Yeah, I definitely vibe with that thing. You know, I like the title testimony because it definitely speaks your story. It speaks what you went through. Now you can feel, it, especially now, being able to hear what you just said. You know, um, hear that you went through a car accident and being so recently, and you coming back full throttle and not letting the speech um get get in the way, not letting um downfalls get in the way, like your thoughts. You know, what I'm saying you spoke on depression. And I deal with depression a lot just from being out the military. And yeah. I feel like people think that that's just military, the only way you get PTSD. But in life, life happens. We have a lot of people walking around with PTSD, a lot of people walking around with depression. You know, yeah. you're, you're encouraging time. people. You're encouraging people to push forward through your music. Yeah. You know, so that's Thanks. pretty dope, man. That's very dope. But right now, Y'all are tapping in, y'all tuning in. Y'all hear my man's story. If you have not listened to testimony, stop what you're doing right now, play that thing back, go listen to it, and then come back and listen to the rest of this podcast because it's deep, man. Not only you guys get to listen to artists tell their story, but they're sharing their story to push you forward. So how are you going to feel like you're still alone? That's why we have the positive energy generation because you're never alone ever. All right. So um, why so so as you said, um, as you continue to tell your story, you let everybody know that they're not alone and they can share their testimony just by being able to hear your testimony. Um, what are three things that you can tell others that's right now listening to you, um, following you and want to be in the position you're in, but they're scared. What are three things you would say to them? Uh, never give up. That's the number one thing. You can listen to others, but always put yourself first. Put God first, but then put yourself right behind God because it's like, man, God put you on this earth for you, not for them. Yeah. So you know your own limitations. So if you ever feel like you're in fear of doing something, you might mess up or something like that, don't be in fear of that. You know your own limitations is do you. Do what God put you on this earth to do. Look at Do you, man. Y'all got to be scared, man. He's stepping out there right after an accident. Like I said, he could decide that he needs to take more time to himself. But he wanted to push his passion and let y'all know that y'all got to keep going, too. So you got to keep going, y'all. I know we're on this thing all the time, sharing music. But it's more than music. It's more than just what you guys see. These are real live people doing the same thing, if not what you want to do, but they're taking that leap of faith. So you guys too, if you're listening right now and this is for you, look, my man White Sosa is telling y'all to take that leap of faith. Take that leap of faith because God got you and whatever it is that is meant for you to do is already ready, you know? So, hey man, I want to know, you know, I always ask people different random things. So a random thought for the uh, listeners, you know, we all put on our clothes, one, one sock at a time, one shoe at a time. You know, so why so when you get out the shower, man, how do you put your clothes on? Do you know what's the first thing you put on when you get out get out the shower, man? Of your, your connection, man. So I can I can hear you. All right, hold on. You hear me now? Yeah. All right. So I'm always asking people random questions. So random question of the day: When you get out the shower, what is what's the first thing you put on? Uh, first thing I put on. I'm trying to think. Well, when I first got out of the shower, first thing I put on was a towel so I could dry, dry out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, you got me. I got you. You got the towel. 
You know, so I heard somebody say about socks. So I don't know about that person putting on their socks wet, but definitely the towel come first. All right, man. So, you know, I'm definitely pretty sure when you jump out there, you showing people who you are, you're walking in your light, showing this aura that you have, this beautiful aura that you have. Uh, I'm pretty sure the ladies come with it, man. So uh, is there any special one in your life or a no? You know, if you, if not, you know, what what's, what's that uh, gonna look like? Uh, Man, I have a woman. We ain't married, but in my heart, she's my wife. Hey. Her name is Jasmine. You know, we went through the, the little incident where we, because me and her both got hit by the car. Oh. We now this wasn't no re, like regular car accident. Like this was me and her walking across the street. We got hit by a car type type of accident. Wait, she's okay too, right? Yeah, she good. She good. Okay, shout I'll out see. to Jasmine, man. Her, she had to have liver laceration surgery and. But I mean, she good though. But um, yeah. So me and her went through a whole lot together. So, you know, I pray I stay with her for the rest of my life. Hey man, you gotta have that person that's there to not only pick you up but push you forward. So if that you're there for her and she's there for you, and y'all both going through this, this situation together, man, I applaud you. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Jasmine out here being the queen she is. And look, man, we all need that person that's going to be there for us. So I'm glad that you didn't have to go through this by yourself. I'm so sorry that you guys had to deal with this, you know, this type of, um, I want to say issue, but it's only going to make you guys stronger. So what are some future projects that you got coming up? If, if people can stay tapped. I can hear you say what? Hold on. All right. Can you, can you hear me now? Yeah. All right, so what are some future projects that you got coming up? Well, I just dropped my album, Brain Injury. I dropped that February 5th, which is the anniversary of my coma. I just dropped that. Then I just dropped the testimony video because the song was out when I dropped the album. Then I just dropped uh, the speculations, uh, live performance, little one take thing with uh, Wicked Films. I just dropped that. But other than that, I'm finna, uh, I got some big things dropping. I got, I got, you know, a special, special song dropping for all my fans, something they've been waiting for for a little while now. Okay. Um, then I'm dropping, uh, I'm dropping a remix and then another single after that. And then after that, I got the big show, uh, Beale Street Music Festival. It's like the Rolling Loud from Memphis. Memphis, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm performing, I'm performing at that. It's gonna be me. In the Lee Chaba, Money Bag, 3 6 Mafia, all of us. Hey, look at you. Turn the fuck up, bro. Turn yeah. up, bro. I'm so proud of you, man. Keep going. Thank you. Keep going. It's only up from here. You definitely deserve it. You've definitely been working for it. And it's definitely um, a blessing to see you um, not only push your passion, but live it out, man. Live your passion out, man. You only got one life to live, and you know you already know. And the fact that you're you was able to get through what you was getting through and share that with people, it's only gonna be blessings from here. It's only gonna be blessings from here, man. I'm proud of you. So, yo, y'all listening right now, definitely tap into my man on all social media. Why so? So go ahead, shout out your social media where everybody can follow you on, so they can stay tapped in with you. Hey, before I shout out my social media, I just want to say, man, shout out to my brother, uh, Sammy Benzo. He just passed away in 2020, man. Long live Sammy Benzo. Shout out to my mama. Shout out to Jasmine. Shout out to God. Shout out to Jesus. Shout out to everybody that love me. Shout out to all my fans. They, they really my family. Shout out to all of them. Love y'all. Love the woes. The woes facts. Yeah. And uh, but other than that, my social media, uh, Instagram is at white Sosa. TikTok at White Sosa with uh, three A's. Twitter at White Sosa with two A's. Snapchat at White Dot Sosa with three A's. And Facebook, White with two E's, Sosa with two A's. And yeah. Hey, y'all go follow him, man. He's definitely a living testimony, man. He got so many people around him that's, that's there for him. And I'm so sorry to hear about your brother, man. It's never easy. To, to say goodbye to people, but like I said, like a, a lot of us had to say goodbye to people we wasn't ready. So yeah. um, I'm definitely here to impress to you and your family. And again, shout out to Jasmine, shout out to your moms for being that supporter. We need support, man, we do. So the fact that you got support, man, don't let that go. Not everybody's just as blessed to have that support. Definitely keep it, hold on to it, cherish it. 
All right, man, if y'all, if y'all got some value from this podcast, make sure you guys follow on all social media. Make sure y'all go definitely tap into my man, White Social. All right, get, get to know him. Get to follow his fan base. Be a part of his fan base and be a part of the testimony because my man is doing great things. And as you can hear, it's a blessing from God. So continue to move with each other. Continue to elevate each other. Um, White Social, five seconds, man, if you can say anything right now. If nobody got anything from this podcast and they – they say, man, Weiss also left me with this message. You know what that message would be? Believe in God, y'all gonna go far. Hey, and y'all think it's cliche when people say believe in God, but as you can see, if you've watched the uh, Kanye documentary, he says believe in God. You know, when you, when you listen to Jay Z, he say believe in God. You gotta believe in something bigger than you because right now, if you only believe in you, you're gonna doubt yourself. All right, yeah. you have to fully believe in yourself. So believe in something bigger than you. Believe in God, and he will take you all the way. So White Soccer, thank you, man. Thank you for taking time out your day to get on the podcast. We appreciate you. We'll give you your flowers while you're alive, man. And look, nobody tell y'all today, tomorrow, and yesterday that they love you. Just know that Sharp from the PG podcast love you. White Sosa love y'all, man. And if you need some more love, make sure y'all tap I, in. I, I, can't, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, you uh it had cut out when you said when you asked it today, tomorrow, and uh yesterday, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So nobody told y'all today, tomorrow, yesterday. Just know sharp for the PG podcast love you. My man White Sosa loves you. All right, and y'all gotta go be a part of that testimony. Be a part of people showing you the way so you can go out there and do the same. The world is meant to be changed, right? The healing is right. taken. So guess what? You're a part of that healing, man. Continue to heal people, continue to heal yourself and keep God first, man. Look, come back, tap in with us at the PG Podcast. Make sure y'all go follow my man, White Sosa, and we love y'all. Live to inspire. Let's get it. And let's, let's go. go, man. Let's go, brother. Let's get it, man.